Hey Sheldon. So I just finished putting it together, <clears throat> balanced all the uh, brackets, uh, secure it in the center, are done. This is the best that I could do. It still has a bit of a wobble, but it is not going to get better. So see how smoothly it rolls. All the ceramic bearings are in. I don't know what I can do about that. But it's just running on those ceramic bearings, it's just so slick. This goes for a little while. It's loaded with the magnets, 12 N35s, or 20, 20 millimeters in diameter. So that's like a three quarter of an inch or so. Let's see, <clears throat> we will grab this fella here. Let's put that down. No, this might grab, I don't know. So this wheel, I have about an eighth of an inch on either side of the MDF. So it doesn't go right to the edge. That way I can leave it smooth and flat. The, the stuff you see there, like these, they're just printed numbers. And these are um, brass screws. This side, just the printed numbers. It's still going. So that's pretty well balanced. That's the best I can do. Honestly, <clears throat> I have fought for a long time to get it looking this good. And to help reduce any kind of wind resistance or drag or I don't know, whatever. Noise. I got this. It just keeps going. So this is really for my safety. Because when we do get the circuit built up and the coils in place and things are oriented the right way, this guy is going to spin ho 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 fast. Thousands of RPM. <clears throat> and the kinetic energy generated by that, I don't know. I think I'm going to wrap this with some, um, some duct tape. Well, I could have kept going. I just stopped. I don't know why I did that. But um, there it is so far. Next is secure the wheel with some additional padding so I can grip it and push it like that easily because I'm going to do a lot of that. And um, and just give it a little bit more resistance to make sure nothing breaks off the side. The actual magnets are in roughly where these guys are because I threw magnets on here to center it. So we have, we have some depth. It's about an inch of depth. <clears throat> If I put this near, okay, so that's, okay, that has now sunk itself, well, shit, never mind, let's see here, oh god, it's just gone way in, uh, okay, so that's roughly the center, and that shows it as about two and a half inches depth, so the, the diameter of the circles, the, the magnets themselves is 30 millimeters, that's a little over, that's about an Eight, uh, inch and an eighth and so an inch and an eighth from the center there uh, half of that it's gonna be like three quarter no less than about five eighths five eighths so if we take away five eighths from two and a half we're looking at about an inch and three quarters away from the edge so that puts a lot of meat on there to make sure that it has a lot of frictional um, torsion resistance so it won't just break out. Um, this should be really really good because the version that I've seen before similar to this has all the magnets splayed across the outside and then the whole thing was just cast in resin but even that at four to six thousand rpm it was blowing the magnets off right into the coils and destroying itself. Um, this is my idea, my design. This is going to be much much safer. And hopefully, with ceramic bearings, which I know the other guy didn't have, we should be able to reach 10,000 RPM, which is ridiculous. <clears throat> Just imagine this thing flying around, barely taking a battery's worth of power to get it to go with an axial flux generator on the end here. Okay. Wish me luck. Bye.